everyone, welcome back to another Python video and the last video in our series on image processing using Pillow. The goal of this video is to replace all the square backgrounds of this image with random colors. So we've been working with this image for a little while now. In the previous video, we changed, oh, I guess I, here it is. We changed all of the white uh, letters and numbers to this teal color. And now instead of changing the white uh, kind of text, we're going to be changing the background color instead. So I already have everything imported as I need to. Um, again, we're gonna start with a refresher. Um, not even a refresher, I think we're introducing np.where. Um, this is a little bit difficult to get used to, um, but it will allow us to do things that we wouldn't be able to do with just a Boolean mask. So here I have this sample NumPy array, and let's just start by doing some examples. So I'm going to say np.where, and then I say a, the first argument I pass, or kind of I'll say where a and then what condition I want to satisfy. So let's again do where a is greater than five. Then what I want to do is say, okay, well this first position or the second position here tells me what do I do if a is equal to or greater than five. So if this statement is true, what do I want to do? And I can put, let's say negative 20, meaning replace the element with negative 20, and three meaning what to do if it's false. So if a is less than or equal to five, replace it with three. So now we can see here nine is greater than five, so it gets replaced with 20. Two, four, five, da da da, all the way up until here. Those are all smaller than five, so they'll get replaced with threes. 10 gets replaced with negative 20, five with three, eight with negative 20. So basic example, already we can see the functionality of, I specify not just to do uh, what to do if it's true, but also what to do if it's false. So that's very nice. Um, another thing I could do, so this negative 20 and three, these don't have to be just integers. They can be anything that's broadcastable up to the dimensions of A. So for instance, oops, I can see n say np.where A greater than five. If I place A, that means leave it alone. If it's true, keep the same value in A. I can put three otherwise. And let's see if I run this. So nine is greater than five, so it stays the same. But all of these entries are smaller, so they get replaced with three. Then 10 stays the same and eight stay the same, but five gets replaced with three. Some more examples, I could say np.where a greater than five, I could say take a and multiply the values by 100, otherwise leave it to be three. So now it's exactly the same as this previous one, but the values where a were greater than five got multiplied by 10, or sorry, 100. So that's looking good. And maybe one more example, I could say np.where a greater than five, let's say do 100 times a if it's true, otherwise replace it with the corresponding value in np.a range, and again it needs to be broadcastable up to the dimensions of a, so let's say length of a. So what's happening here, let's take a look at np.a range length of a. We can see here these are the values it goes through. So nine is greater than five, so that gets placed with 100. Then everything from here is not greater than five, so it gets replaced with its corresponding value in np.a range. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then 10 goes to 1000. Five is not greater than five, so it gets replaced with its corresponding value in np.a range, which is this 10. And finally, eight gets replaced with 800. So hopefully these examples gave um, some insight into how np.where works. Um, using these ideas, we're going to kind of get all of the non-white pixels and replace them with a random color. Okay, so now that we've practiced with np.where, let's actually apply it to the problem at hand. So what I'm going to do is say mask equals ARR, and I want to see, okay, where is this equal to white? So it's 255, 255, 255. And again, just like in the last video, I say dot all axis equals two. And then what I can do is say np dot where mask, and there's going to be an error. So let's just say arr comma arr. And what this does is it's just going to keep arr the same everywhere. Um, but let's just see what the error is. And it's saying here, we can't broadcast an array of dimensions 1000 by 1000 to these dimensions. 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to reshape mask. So I'm going to say mask equals this dot reshape. It's still going to be 1000 by 1000. I'm just going to say the last dimension is one and then it'll be able to be broadcast to the three. So good, this is looking good so far. Now let's actually focus on changing the colors. So remember, if the color is not white, I want to change it. So what that's going to be is I look at this last entry here and I specify my colors. So let's generate random colors. I'm going to say RNG equals np.random.default underscore RNG. And then colors I'm going to say is rng.integers. Remember, I can go from 0 to 255. So if I put 256, that'll give me exactly what I want. Size equals, so because I coded this image, I know that each of these colorful squares is 100 by 100 pixels. So I'm going to say make this 100 by 100 and by 3, because 3 is going to give me the RGB values. And I'm going to run this now but there's an issue here. So let's see what happens if I try to apply this to the np.where argument. So let's see. If I replace this with colors, it's saying again, an issue with broadcasting. So this time I have 1000 by 1000 by one. And this, these two dimensions are fine, but what's going on is this 100, 103. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to repeat the colors 10 times in each axis, so not each axis, the columns axis and the rows axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's call this maybe just capital Y, is I'm going to say colors dot repeat. I need to repeat it, uh, let's see, 100 times. And I first want to do it along axis equals zero. I can start with axis equals one. And then I repeat 100 times along axis equals one. And then now let's try it. So instead of having colors, I'll replace this with capital Y. And see, it's still having an error. So let's see what's going on here. Oops, I think I multiplied it by too much. It should just be 10, sorry, that's my bad. So, okay, this is looking good so far. Let's turn it into an image and see. So I'm gonna call this ARR2 and then Maybe one other thing I should do is when I call integers here, let me just specify the D type as uh, unsigned integers. So then I run again here. And let's say image dot from array ARR2. And okay, not quite what we wanted. The squares here are smaller. So I had realized I made a mistake a little bit earlier, but I wanted to follow through to show you what would happen. So, okay, this is actually kind of a cool image, but not what we were going for. So let's go back up to where I define my colors. So here I'm saying it's size 100, 103. What I really should have done was 10 by 10. So it's going to give me the 10 by 10 square. So that's what I want. So I'm going to now run this code and I'm going to copy paste this code. Actually, I should have done it. Let's see. I want to keep this image. I'm going to run everything else though. So let's see, let's run colors. I'm going to stretch here now. So now I need to multiply by 100, ARR2, and I can say image dot from array ARR2. And here's one where it worked how we expect. So here the first square is one color, second square is one color. What's happening here is it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten squares here. Um, if we wanted to make it look even crazier, so maybe one last thing I want to show you is, let's see, I'm going to copy this code. And then instead of having it be 10 by 10 by 3, I'm just going to make the dimensions work right away. And then I'm going to see np.where arr, comma, arr, comma, colors. And let's make an image from this. 
Oops, okay, what did I do wrong here? You see what I did wrong? I had, I should have had mask here. So this is a kind of the crazy picture that I wanted to show you, kind of like TV static. All right, I think this is a good place to end the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.